Hello and welcome to part 5 of 6 of the Grade 8 Alberta Science Curriculum's Mechanical Systems. Next we are going to talk about hydraulics. Hydraulic systems use the force of a liquid in a confined space. Hydraulic systems apply two essential characteristics of fluid. Their incompressibility, so you can't compress them, and their ability to transmit pressure. Most machines that move very large and very heavy objects use a hydraulic system that applies force to levers, gears, or pulleys. A hydraulic system uses a liquid under pressure to move loads. It is able to increase the mechanical advantage of the levers in the machine. Modern construction projects use hydraulic equipment because the work can be done quicker and safer. There are many practical applications of hydraulic systems that perform tasks which makes work much easier. A hydraulic lift is used to move a car above the ground so a mechanic can work underneath it. Here you have um, the pressure in, pressure out. Pressure is a measure of the amount of force applied to a given area. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. P equals pressure. F equals force and A equals area. The unit of measurement for pressure is called a Pascal, or PA, named after Blaise Pascal who did important research on fluids. One Pascal is equal to the force of one Newton over an area of one meter squared. Pascal discovered pressure applied to an enclosed fluid is transmitted equally in all directions throughout the fluid. This is known as Pascal's law, and it makes hydraulic, or liquid, hydraulic, which means liquid and pneumatic or air systems possible. He was the first to notice that the shape of the container has no effect on the pressure at any given depth, as illustrated here. So it doesn't matter the shape of the container; all of the liquids are at the same level. A piston creates pressure. In hydraulic systems, the pressure is created using a piston. Pistons can be different sizes and hydraulic devices use pistons that are different sizes attached to each other with a flexible pipe. The input piston is used to apply force to the fluid, which creates pressure in the fluid. The fluid transfers this pressure to the output piston. This pressure exerts a force on the output piston and the result is a mechanical advantage that makes the hydraulic system very useful. The mechanical advantage of a hydraulic system comes from the fluid pressure in the system. Calculating the input force and output force will give you the mechanical advantage of the system. Mechanical advantage is equal to output force divided by input force. So here you have an output force of 10 pounds and an input force of 1 pound. Therefore, this machine has a mechanical advantage of 10. Forces Mechanical advantages in hydraulic systems are usually quite high showing how useful they are. This hydraulic system has a mechanical advantage of 10. Pressure and mechanical advantage. The reason for the large mechanical advantage in a hydraulic system is the ability of the fluid to transmit pressure equally. It allows you to use a small force on the small piston to produce a larger force on the large piston. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. From Pascal's law, we know that the pressure the small piston creates is the same everywhere in the fluid. So the large piston has a greater area and is able to multiply the pressure because of its larger area. The force and area at each piston act as ratios that have to be equal. So the force of the small piston divided by the area of the small piston equals the force of the large piston divided by the area of the large piston. By solving this ratio, you will find that the forces created within a hydraulic system provides a very large mechanical advantage, making them useful in many applications. Larger force, greater distance to move. 
A mechanical advantage in hydraulic systems has a cost. That cost is the increased distance that the smaller force must go through to make the larger force move a small distance. To increase the force on the output piston, the input piston must move through a greater distance. Hydraulic systems are extensively used in amusement parks. Hydraulics at work. Most machines that move very large, very heavy objects use hydraulic systems that apply force to levers, gears, or pulleys. A hydraulic system uses a fluid under pressure to move loads. It is able to increase the mechanical advantage of the levers in the machine. Modern construction projects use hydraulic equipment because the work can be done quicker and safer. There are many practical applications of hydraulic systems that perform tasks, making work much easier. An example is earth movers. Earth movers use hydraulics to move large amounts of dirt from place to place. The cherry picker is an example of a hydraulic device that is used to raise workers to high places to repair or do work at heights that would normally not be reached safely. Another example of a highly efficient combination of levers and hydraulics is a backhoe. A backhoe is a combination of three levers, the boom, class three lever, the dipper, class one lever, and the bucket, class one lever. So here you have the bucket, the dipper, and the boom. The assembly of the three levers swings around on a gear-like part called the slew ring. A modern dentist chair operates on the principle of hydraulics as well. The equipment that the dentist uses applies the same principle of Pascal's law using air and is called a pneumatic system. Pneumatic systems do not seal the gas, usually air, in the same way as hydraulic systems seal the fluid it uses. The air usually passes through the pneumatic device under pressure and it then escapes outside the device. The high pressure air is used to do the work. A pneumatic um, jackhammer is an example of a pneumatic device that is used to do work. The loud noise of the jackhammer is the compressed air at work. Bursts of air under very high pressure drive the chuck in and out of the jackhammer at high speeds, which pound the concrete, breaking it into smaller fragments. Here we have staple guns and pneumatic nailers, which use pulses of air pressure to drive nails or staples into solid objects. Sand blasters do exactly what the name implies. High pressure air blasts tiny sand particles out of a nozzle to remove dirt and paint from stone or rock. Sand blasting an old building made of stone or brick can make it look almost like new. Sound sand blasting is used to roughen surfaces to improve traction by increasing friction. So here we have sand blasting. Medical engineers have developed a type of cast filled with pressurized air, which make it fit snugly and securely. Hovercrafts are used by the Canadian Coast Guard in search and rescue missions. They are also used commercially to transport people, cars, and equipment over long distances on land or water. The hovercraft has a pump that draws air from outside and pumps it out through small holes in the bottom of the hovercraft. A skirt around the bottom holds enough air to support the weight of the aircraft above the land or water. Propellers on the back of the craft drive the hovercraft forward and rudders are used to steer it. Hydraulics and pneumatics in your body. Life depends on a pneumatic system in your body, namely the respiratory system. The Lung allow air to enter and leave the body as they contract and expand. Breathing depends on changes in air pressure. You breathe in, in and out about 12 times a minute, exchanging 150 mil, or 500 mils of air each time. Your body also depends on a complex hydraulic system, the circulatory system. Your heart, your hydraulic device, pumps the blood or fluid around your body, carrying food and nutrients to all your cells. Here is your heart, and it is the pump in your hydraulic system. A valve is used to control the flow of blood. It is a movable part that controls the flow by opening or closing. 
many pumps use automatic valves controlled by pressure to move fluids in specific directions pressure on one side opens the valve and closes when the pressure on the other side is greater the heart is actually two pumps that circulate your blood throughout the body four automatic valves are used to help circulate the blood between heartbeats the pressure changes allowing the valves to open and close when they are supposed